Hello everyone, this is Rob Farian with the Flying V Group. Today we're going to go over installing WordFence security plugin to your WordPress website. And we're also going to do it with a specific configuration with a SiteGround hosting account, a cPanel hosting account, or any type of hosting account that might not provide the support for the user.ini or php.ini files. Uh, you'll get a firewall error, or you won't be able to configure the firewall completely for these types of hosting accounts, and that's what we're going to go over today. So for this demo, I've got a real basic WordPress install set up, and I've got the panel open and ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our plugins and add new like we would any other plugin. Uh, WordFence has a free version and a premium version. Uh, for our clients, we've only ever used the free version and have had no problems. 24-7 monitoring of your site. Uh, they'll notify you if there's anything that looks wrong or suspicious. Firewall setup, uh, limit, li limit of logins, uh, denial of service, brute force attack, those types of things you really don't have to worry about or at least worry less about with WordFence installed on your site. Something that I think every site should have, every WordPress site should have it. There's no reason not to have it. And it's something that you install once, it takes five to 10 seconds, or in this case, five minutes, and you're good to go for the remainder of the site's existence. So we're gonna go ahead and search WordFence. And that'll bring up the plugin. You'll see it's got a million plus installs, 3,000 reviews, all of five stars. It's always compatible with the latest version and always being updated. So we're going to go ahead and click install now. And when we do this, WordFence will obviously install onto our WordPress installation, and then we will activate the plugin as well. So when we do this, you'll see that that WordFence has installed, great, congratulations. You can set up an email for notifications if you'd like. You can take a tour if you'd like. We're not gonna do that in the interest of time. Uh, so we'll just close out of that. And then you'll see at the bottom of the screen, there's our WordFence. Uh, I'll show you the dashboard. It'll show your firewalls enabled for now, but if you look at the top of the screen, uh, you've got this warning and that's what we'll address in a minute. Uh, but again, just gives you the type of protection that you have, also what the premium version will give you for the site. Uh, if you'd like, you can run a scan right away um, on your account uh, to get that going, but make sure you do the, do the uh, firewall configuration first. So you're gonna see this error, or not error, but notification warning. It says, to make your site as secure as possible, take a moment to optimize the WordFence web application firewall. So we're gonna go ahead and click here. Now, some hosting accounts can use this wizard that WordFence has set up. Uh, if I was to click that and try and configure the firewall, it would not work based on my SiteGround hosting uh, settings. So we're going to have to use the alternate method. But again, you can try it if you want. If you don't know, hopefully it works. If not, uh, you'll have to use this method to configure the firewall. I'm not going to do it in the interest of time once again, but feel free to play around with it if you'd like. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna copy this file. And then I'm gonna head over to my cPanel. And in cPanel, we're looking for what is called uh, variables, PH, PHP variables manager. So I'm gonna scroll down, it's about halfway down the page uh, and we'll see it right here, right next to our PHP version manager. So we're gonna go ahead and click this. Uh, I'm running on a subdomain right now. So fvgtraining.fvgdemo.com. Um, so you'll see your file directory, um, you'll see public HTML, if that's where your site's located, that's what, where you'll want to click to make these changes. Or again, if you've got a subdirectory like we have, um, a subdomain, you'll go ahead and find that subdomain and do it there. Uh, so you'll see here, here's our subdomain uh, folder, so we're going to go ahead and click that. That'll take us to this next page, and for our variable, we're going to put in auto underscore prepend underscore file. It'll automatically pull up, so you can just go ahead and click it, and then we'll want to click add, and then we'll go ahead and paste the file that we copied, or the 
uh, file line that we copied from this page. Make sure you check apply changes to all subdirectories and then we'll go ahead and click save and you should get a confirmation saying, okay, we made the changes, here's the changes we made. And if you wanna go back to make sure you did it correctly, you'll see that, okay, I've got php.ini for this one. Well, now I've got it as well for FVG training on my subdomain. So we're all set on the hosting side. So now we'll go back to the WordPress backend and we're gonna configure. So go ahead and just use whatever the recommended uh, server configuration is that WordFet, WordFence um, said, hey, here's your server configuration, go ahead and use this. So we'll just click continue. And we'll see that it is a success. And the way you'll know is if we're in learning mode, if you were to do this again without making the changes to that hosting file, this would not happen. So what WordFence does is it'll go into learning mode. You can switch it to enabled mode whenever you want, if it like. We prefer not to, it'll automatically do it. Um, and what WordFence is doing is it's learning your site, learning your file structure, making sure that it's applying the best firewall settings for your website. So once that's done, it'll eventually switch over to enabled and protecting and you can go ahead and come on the next day and check and make sure that it, it has switched over. From there, we'll click save. And then we'll get our firewall configuration. The WordFence web application firewall configuration was saved successfully. And that's it. So this has WordFence set up. Uh, it's running. Uh, we can go ahead and run our scan now if we'd like. And our site is completely protected, monitored. Um, we can get alerts anytime something specific, uh, suspicious happens, excuse me and you're all good to go. Again, we suggest you put this on every one of your sites, every one of your WordPress installations. It's just something that gives you peace of mind. You don't have to do anything with it. There's no maintenance. You don't have to change settings. You have to set it once, install it, get it ready to go, and it's constantly monitoring your website. Um, so it, it's definitely worth it. Uh, that's all for this video and this tutorial. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Uh, again, this is part of the Flying V Group. Uh, tutorials. Uh, we're going to be adding more and more for little things like this or little tips, tricks um, that you can do for WordPress or configurations. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at our next video. Thanks and have a great day.